Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. In this video we will do a static stress analysis of bracket. First let's see the problem statement and make required assumption for the study. The problem statement of this study is to determine the stresses due to the influence of uniform load on the top surface of the bracket. Now, let's see what strategy we will follow. The strategy for this problem will be generating high-quality curvature-based mesh to get accurate results and obtain the required mesh for holes. And after that, we will refine the mesh at the top corner of the bracket to get the required results. Now, the first step is to make a model according to the dimension shown here. Also, you can download this file from GrabCAD. And you can start the study by going into simulation and creating a new study. Let's jump into SOLIDWORKS and start the simulation. Before that check out the dimensions of the bracket. It is important to set the units for SOLIDWORKS simulation. Set the default unit according to your preference. Let's start the simulation. First, we will click on SOLIDWORKS add-ins. And then select SOLIDWORKS professional tool, as shown in video. Now we have to define the simulation study name and select the study type. Define the study name, bracket simulation, and select the study type, static. Step 3 is assigning a material. The major objective of material selection in the context of product design is to minimize costs while achieving product performance goals. The material we will use here is AISI 304 steel. A popular austenitic stainless steel with chromium and nickel content is IC 304, 1.4301. This material has a yield tensile strength of 190 megapascals, an ultimate tensile strength of 500 to 700 megapascals, and a Brunel hardness of 215. It is highly corrosion resistant, has great drawing qualities, and is very formable. Because it typically contains 18% chromium and 8% nickel, type 304 is also commonly referred to as 18 eighths. Sinks, kitchenware including pans, pipes, and other items are common applications for 304 stainless steel. Step 4 is applying the load to the model. In this static study, a uniform load exerts on the top surface of the bracket. And the rigid support is applied at its four holes. Also, since the bracket is also under the influence of gravity we will apply it on the top surface. A load of 5000 kg exerts on the top surface of the bracket. If you have a load in kilograms and want to convert it to newtons then just multiply that number by 9.81. The load in newtons will be 49,050.
Step 5 is about generating a high-quality mesh. We will be using high-quality curvature-based fine mesh in this study. You can see the details of the mesh in this Mesh Details dialog box. We will fix the element max size to 1.5 mm. Keeping the goal of this study into consideration applying mesh with an element size of 1.5 mm is not correct for this scenario instead we will go for a 5 mm element size. We will run the analysis now. As you can see the results surpass the yield strength at the brackets platform edge. Displaying the results is the next step. Display and examine all the stresses. And from the chart options enable show minimum and maximum annotations. Let us see the displacement results to see how far the brackets platform has displaced. We will also animate the displacement results to see how it reacts to the external load. Now, we will apply mesh control at the top edge of the bracket platform, with an element size of 1.2 mm, and examine the results. If we don't see any positive results we shall think of other solutions. Mesh control is the specification of various element sizes at various locations within the model. The precision of results in a region is enhanced by smaller elements. At vertices, points, edges, faces, and components, you can specify mesh control. For beams, mesh control is not an option. As you can see the results are still beyond the yield strength.
plot the graph of the top edge of the bracket to see it more clearly. So, from this, we understood that applying only fine high quality mesh is not the solution to get the required results. We will make the stress contour from continuous to discrete. and superimpose the mesh as we saw it in the previous video. Now, we have to think from the engineering perspective to get the required results. We will make modifications to the design of the bracket. We will add rib at the bottom. For that we will make a sketch on a front plane. And apply rib to it, from the features section. Also, apply a chamfer of 10 mm on the top edge of the bracket to minimize stress concentration and distribute it better. So, mesh control will not be playing a role here so we will delete it. And rerun the study. The outcomes we obtained here come extremely close to passing the test. Finally, Animate the von Mises stress and observe how it responds to a load after the chamfer and rib have been added.
Thanks for watching. Until then learn and grow.